Now to the arrest of an assistant district attorney accused of having child pornography. It's been just more than 24 hours since Kevin Etherington was booked into jail. And tonight, we're learning it is not his first time on the wrong side of the law. News 4's Caitlin Ogle is looking into this investigation and what it could mean for the cases he was overseeing. Caitlin? Kevin Etherington's bond appearance happened just a few hours ago over a video call in front of a Pottawatomie County courthouse. However, his attorneys were inside the Payne County courthouse behind me. His bond now set at $500,000. It got everybody a little flat footed. Defense attorney Gary James has known Kevin Etherington for about 20 years. Those in Oklahoma law were stunned about the arrest of the Payne and Logan County assistant DA. You know, he's always been very fair. No one's ever had a vibe that there's something, you know, something wrong with him. However, the OSBI says on September 1st, 14 cyber tips came in from the Internet Crimes Against Children Task Force. This search warrant, obtained by News 4, says the first tip came from Google in late July. Documents say more than 150 videos and photos of child porn were found on his Google Drive account. In a statement, his boss says, quote, I cannot express how dismayed and disappointed I am about this development. My review of the investigation has resulted in the person's dismissal from employment by my office. Etherington's legal record and work history are not spotless. This letter shows he was fired as a prosecutor in the Oklahoma County DA's office in 2010. Then, in 2017, he was charged with a felony, accused of stealing $30 worth of carjacks from his ex-wife's home without asking. Those charges were later dropped. Until his firing this week, Etherington had been the assistant district attorney for Payne and Logan counties for about eight years. As for the cases he's working, any pending cases in Payne and Logan County will uh, be reassigned by the district attorney to some other assistant to handle. I cannot see any realm of how this would affect any pending case. News 4 also asking James how this could impact any cases Etherington has tried in the past. Uh, I mean, I can see someone obviously raising it for some type question, uh, but you'd have to look at those on a case by case basis. What would be the allegation? Was he harsher? Was he more lenient? And the DA has asked Attorney General John O'Connor to assign this case to another district. In Stillwater, Caitlin Ogle, Oklahoma's News 4.